Welcome to this video on how to use Java library classes in your program. My name's Andy Wicks, but the code for this program was created by Drs. Kate Finney, Dr. Don Cowell and Dr. Chris Walshaw of the University of Greenwich. This code is all about classes and objects, and this is a topic that quite often confuses people, particularly when they first meet it. A class is a general description. So for example the term student is referred to people who are studying. It's a whole group of people and students have certain characteristics. They have a name. They have an institution at which they're studying. They have a subject that they're studying. They have a start date and a result and all sorts of other things. And these are things that all students have in common. That's the class. An object is a specific one of that class. So you, assuming you're a student, are a specific object. If your name's Fred, I could create an object called Fred of the class student. You would then look like a student. If I create another student, Jill, then Jill is another type of student, another object of the student class. So if we keep in mind that classes are general descriptions and objects are specific ones, things we could theoretically touch, then that's the basis for all of this. And Java comes with a whole load of classes that have been predefined for you. Classes that you can use, and you've already done so. You've used the string class. Well, here in this particular demonstration, we're going to use the Gregorian calendar class. And we're going to create a new variable called now. And now is going to be a new Gregorian calendar object. As you know, definitions of uh, variables in Java start with the type of variable that it is. In this case, now is a Gregorian calendar type variable. That says how much space to leave in memory. And that is equal to a new Gregorian calendar. Now is therefore created in memory. We also have here a decimal format class that is also something that's defined in Java. In this case, the decimal format class requires you to say what sort of format you're expecting. In this case, we're expecting two characters, so 0, 0. So we're going to create a new variable called two digits that's of the type decimal format and it's a new decimal format variable. Now we can use the objects. First of all, yes, let's look at now. We can create an integer called year that is the now get calendar year. Calendar is a class and that class has certain variables defined within it. Year being one of those variables. You'll notice that year is uppercase. That's because it's a constant. Whilst this program is running, the year will be the same. We can similarly have a variable called month. And the month is fixed for the time that the program is running. And so on. Now we could, if time were particularly critical, ask the operating system to get us the new year, month, date, hour, day, minute and second every so often, every second. But in this case we just want to see what they are. And if we do that, well we can now output a message dialog box that shows these variables. It is now and then two digits dot format so we're using the format method 
of the object created by the decimal format class. Yes, I know that's a bit of a mouthful. Let me try that again. We have a new variable called two digits. Because it's of the decimal format class, it comes with certain things it can do automatically. One of the things is format a number. So we're going to format the hour and on to the end of that we're going to add a colon. So it is now and the hour will be in two digit format. Then we're going to add on minutes and seconds and then on day, month and year. Let me show you that running. So shift F6 and you can see it says it is now 13.56.51 on the 28th of the 10th, 2012. We've used two different types of library classes. We've created objects from them and we've used them in our program. Classes are wonderful ways of creating shortcuts in your code. Why would you want to create work for yourself, why not just use the work that other people have already done and use that in your program to make your life easier. Using classes will make your life easier.